Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're looking at adding rational expressions with different denominators and a single occurrence of a variable. So we only have one variable uh, in this particular problem. So to re remember, to add or subtract fractions, you must have common denominators, which is the uh, first common multiple of your denominators. So 8 and 5, the first common multiple of 8 and 5, or the first number that they will both go into is 40. Okay, so we have to look. 40 divided by 8, or what did I multiply 8 by to get 40? So 40 divided by 8 is 5, so 8 times 5 is 40. Whatever I multiply my denominator by down there, I have to multiply the numerator by the same thing. So 5 times x gives me 5x. Minus, look at my second fraction. 5 times what number is 40? What did I multiply 5 by to get 40? Or what's 40 divided by 5? That's 8. So in order to keep this fraction equivalent, I have to multiply the numerator by 8 as well. Okay, so this is adding fractions with uncommon denominators, with different denominators. You have to get a, find your least common multiple of your denominator, the first common multiple of your denominator, and then uh, multiply the top and the bottom uh, by the same number to make keep the fraction equivalent. So we end up with 5x minus 24 all over 40. So I look here, I see that there is no number that will go into 5x, 40, and 24. They don't have any common factors. So that is my final answer. All right, so we're getting into finding the least common multiple of our denominators and then adding and subtracting the fractions from there. I hope you find this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.